So vital signs, what is vital signs? Uh, if you think about it when you go to the doctor and, and you first go in for your appointment and what do they begin to do? They, they take your blood pressure, they check your pulse, they, they might check your breathing and see how well things are going. What they're doing is they are taking vital signs for, for your body, for your life. It's uh, ways that they can actually measure your overall health. Uh, the vital signs idea takes this and carries it over into community. And uh, what we've done is, is much like uh, a doctor will go and, and check your, uh, your respiratory system and your circulatory system, uh, we've identified five value areas uh, that we can use to, to come up with various vital signs to measure things that we value here in Capitol Hill. Uh, a lot of it came out of the dialogue groups and just other uh, surveys and information that's been gathered over time here in Capitol Hill. And we tried to, to boil it all down into five key value areas. And so uh, my focus is going to share those five values with you tonight. Uh, the first one is beauty. Um, beauty is a, it, it's, it's a broad area, it covers a lot of different things. It, it does hit things like, like green spaces, uh, the tree program and, and the committee that goes on there, uh, creating community gardens, uh, taking care of our parks and, and those sort of spaces. But it moves beyond that. Uh, we have a lot of historic architecture here in Capitol Hill. And so like the example here of the, the Molly Brown House, it's the idea of, of preserving uh, the beautiful historic architecture that we do have. But it's not just about the historic architecture, it's also about the new buildings as they go up and as those things are developed and as we look at things like Main Street zoning and the, and the example of Argonaut being the first uh, building that went up that really fit the Main Street zoning uh, idea along Colfax and how can we um, continue to encourage new uh, buildings that go up to, to have a measurement of beauty in the neighborhood. And all of it, of course, ties in with a, a distinctly urban feel because Capitol Hill is an urban neighborhood. And, and so uh, to be a, a beautiful urban neighborhood, how exactly does that, does that work and what does that look like and what does that include? It also extends to people. Uh, this particular slide demonstrates a, uh, uh, one of the, the groups of people that does not exist in abundance here in Capitol Hill. That would be children. Uh, and, and so when we talk about the people of Capitol Hill, we're talking about a wide variety of ages. We're talking about the, uh, a, ver a variety of, of ethnicities, of people from different backgrounds and perspectives. And how can we have a, a wide range of people that contribute to the beauty of our neighborhood? It also moves into people from a wide variety of socioeconomic status. Uh, and so how do we incorporate uh, the homeless that often gather at the Network Coffee House and, and have them be a vital part of the community because they are part of the beauty of our neighborhood? Our second area comes in, into education. Uh, how do we have a, a community that, that values education for all people no matter where they're at? It, it might be vocational training. It might be a, a specific skill that someone needs to pick up at a certain point in time. Uh, but it's, whatever it's going to be, it's also going to take a special focus on our youth. And how do we uh, incorporate it so that the kids in our neighborhood are, are being invested in by the, the citizens and by the businesses? And how is everybody contributing to their education? How do we make sure that we have schools with low dropout rates? Uh, all of those kinds of, of measurements uh, that would indicate a healthy, vibrant community that would also be a, a resource to draw kids and families back into these communities because one of the reasons that there aren't a lot of kids is because the, the schools don't have the strongest reputations. It also plays into mobility, specifically uh, non-automobile related mobility. Uh, walking. I recently saw something where, where uh, Capitol Hill was ranked as the third most walkable neighborhood in Denver and, and it ranked a, a 93 out of 100 on the walkability scale. But how can we continue to improve uh, the walkability uh, of Denver? Uh, beyond walkability, bicycles. How do we increase uh, transportation via bicycle by, by adding bike paths, whatever might come down the, uh, whatever could increase and encourage people to use bicycles here in town. I know one of the things that came up the other night, I was, 
I was talking to a, another dad, and, and his goal is to, is to have it be set up so his kids, they are three and five right now, can ride their bikes from home to school in, in bike-safe lanes. That would be a, a vital sign, a way of measuring mobility here in, in Capitol Hill. And it also ties back into things like beauty and encouraging it to be a place where, where kids can, uh, it's a kid-friendly neighborhood. And it can also extend to things like public transportation, uh, such as the, the, the dream of a streetcar running up and down Colfax and encouraging mobility that way. It also extends into safety. And, and what can we do to have a safer neighborhood, a, a place where, where people feel comfortable uh, being out and about at any time of day or night as they're traveling around? And obviously, there's a, there's a lot of connection in the safety realm with, with our law enforcement officials and other city agencies. But it extends uh, beyond that as it moves into neighbor efforts and how can citizens engage and, and partner with law enforcement to uh, improve the safety of Capitol Hill. Uh, this is one of the things that I've been involved with through the, the Neighbors on the Hill group. And, and just to give an example of, of citizen engagement making an impact on safety. Uh, on your left, the, uh, the map there is uh, the end of the year uh, 2006. And that would be uh, Capitol Hill proper. The, uh, the, the, the bigger the blue bulge, the redder it gets, indicates more crime. Uh, this was an area that neighbors on the hill targeted through uh, graffiti cleanup, picking up trash, removing flyers, uh, those kinds of activities. It was a, a broken windows target neighborhood and had additional law enforcement traveling through it. On the, on the right, the exact same neighborhood through November 2008 for last year. And so you can see just a radical impact on, on safety as far as measured crime uh, in a single community. And so how do we get uh, citizens and, and uh, city agencies partnering together to take on safety issues and, and encouraging this to be a community that is, is safe and ready for all sorts of, of practices revolving around uh, public health? And finally, sustainability. Um, which really has two major components to it. One is, is how do we uh, get rid of our waste as, as, we're, as we're disposing of things? So it's practices and recycling and all those kinds of things. How do we enable a larger uh, unit, the, the, the multi-resident uh, units, to have recycling? Uh, once you get into the, the 10, 12, uh, and beyond buildings, um, making sure that we have recycling available for those facilities, public recycling available for those facilities. Um, but it also deals with uh, how do we gather and, and produce and, and, and add energy. There's uh, solar panels on the top of this, this building here. How do we go about um, finding creative ways as a community to, to create uh, alternative energy that we can turn around and use within the community? And so the idea on uh, vital signs is, is essentially taking the, these five areas, at least as we have defined them so far, there's still flexibility. We're seeking feedback on that. Uh, how can we measure specific vital signs in each of those value areas? Uh, what are we missing as far as, as values here in the neighborhood? And then how can we begin to, um, to identify specific projects and, and connect people to specific projects so we can actually uh, take uh, the, the, the pulse rate, take the, uh, the heartbeat, or the, uh, listen to the, the breathing of Capitol Hill to identify it as a, a healthy, well-functioning neighborhood. And so what we have is we have actually uh, feedback forms for each of you. So I'm going to pass these around, and we're inviting you to, to respond to our, our five value areas. There's a description of each. Uh, respond to the five value areas and begin to identify what might be missing uh, or maybe how would you further enhance what we have and also suggest specific vital signs that would be useful to measure each of the five areas. So that's what's going on with vital signs.